Hello guys, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial how to launch any Origin game through Steam so you can use the Steam controller. If you had a, a bug, or I don't think it's a bug, it's just really a matter of launching it. Um, you launch like FIFA, the Steam controller won't work the normal way because you actually launch it through Origin. So the solution for this should be add this the FIFA game to Steam and then you launch it through Steam, but this also doesn't work. The reason for this, if you actually give the command to Steam, you give Steam gives a command to Origin to launch the game, while Origin on his place launches the game. So this is not directly launching. The solution for this is closing Origin, but not only closing it, really shutting it down. Uh, you get this menu by uh, Ctrl Alt Delete and then just Task Manager. I hope you already know that. Uh, so look for Origin, close it, both. Tada. Make sure there's no more tasks from Origin, but we should be alright by just closing those two. And now you can play. This will take a little bit longer now, because Steam has to get verification that you actually have the game. But Origin will not normally open, you see it's, it's just connecting, but it doesn't open, which is an important step. It doesn't open to launch the game, Steam actually launches it. If we wait a few more seconds, we should be able to launch it. And there we go. You can see make sure you have steam overlay which is this so it's active so you know for sure that it's actually working you can see that it's working because i got the x i set my steam controller so it would use the xbox configuration i will show that in a second um you can see here i got the possibility <laughs> you see the xbox controller icons are on there um so that that should work I'm just gonna quit it now. Ah, so. Quit. Uh, I will explain how I... You, don't forget to close Origins every time you launch the game. That's an important step. Um, so, how to get the Xbox controller configuration. Is you press right-click on FIFA and then press Team Controller Configuration. And then if you actually press something like this, you can see on the right here, there is a controller scheme. Just match that with the scene controller and you should be all right. Um, I use these settings, show it, this. They're not perfect, you can definitely modify them. Because sometimes I have to use my mouse to click on stuff because they're not assigned to a key or to a button on my scene controller. So this should help you out and handle every problem you've got. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you.